Dear Jasmine Dear Jasmine Dear Jasmine I wonder if this love is everlasting I promise not to treat you like your last Hi babes, hi boo-boos, hi darlings. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today's hair is from You Pretty. They sent me this lovely wavy hair. Unfortunately, the hair didn't come bleached so I had to bleach it and wash it. That's why it kind of looks like that. I haven't worn it yet. It's just because I washed it and I didn't really do much to it. So I'm just showing you guys how the nuts came out after I bleached it. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through the entire process. I normally don't do a voice over my videos because I feel like it's self-explanatory. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to be taking you guys through it today, every step of the way, to make it easy for those that still don't get me when they watch the videos because I'm not saying anything. So here I am trying on the hair. So this hair is actually HD. The lace is not as soft as like a lot of the wigs that I've tried on but it's not as hard because those ones that are not HD Jesus Christ the lace is very hard but this one is really nice I like the texture of the lace so I've already put on the wig I'm trying to point out around my hairline where I'm gonna put in the glue that this kind of makes it easy for me to know exactly where to put the glue so that when I put the wig on it finally you don't see glue like so much glue um around the lace like at, around the edge is what i'm trying to prevent after i am done marking the points i just go ahead with my glue around the cap that i have on already i have already done the balding method and i do this every time before my video because i don't want to add it, it kind of makes the video longer but if you guys want a detailed video on how i do the balding method which is not really that hard i will gladly do it so i went around with my um bold hold glue this is the glue that i use when i want the hair to last for at least like five six days if not i just use my got to be so after i have applied the bold hold i just spread it out and make sure i blow dry it till it is clear so i don't see any white and then i go in again the second time with more glue because i really want the wig to like stay there i don't want it to move so I go in with another layer of glue, spread it out, and then blow dry it till it's clear again. So after the glue has dried clear, the second layer of glue has dried clear, I go ahead and drag the wig onto the glue, making sure I align the little dots that I put on my forehead and on the lace so that I know exactly where this is going. And then I go on, I go ahead with a comb to just press down the lace really, really hard into the glue. <laughs> okay i always put a bonnet on so i can just get the hair not always i started doing this recently just to get the hair out of the way when i'm trying to tie my elastic band i'm using this elastic band to uh, tie my edges so that the glue and the lace will become best friends and whilst i am waiting i'm just gonna be chilling i don't even know what that face was but let's move on okay now that everything is in place and i feel like the lace is actually laid i'm just gonna go in with this facial blade i don't think that's what it's called but let's just call it that i'm gonna use that to cut the lace <laughs> And then afterwards i'm gonna glue the sides down more because i'm never sure where to put it exactly so i just go in with extra glue on those parts um to try to hide the lace a little bit more i'm just going in with my foundation brush along my edges and uh, right i'm just sticking down the sides and um trying to part it and make sure to decide where the middle is gonna be Okay, moving on to edges I am just gonna be taking these sections I used to do like the three three on both sides kind of edges but now I just stick to two 
so I just do the top part and then the the one by my ear <laughs> I'm now using my hot comb to just lay the front part of the wig so I can section you can clearly see the section between the baby hairs and the rest of the hair and now I'm going in with my bed head spray to I'm spraying this directly on the front part of the lace just to try and hide it more I have actually upgraded from using this. I now use the Eben spray or the Ebine spray. I don't know how you say it, but that one. And that one works much, much better. That together with um, spritz. Really, really good. Wait, I think I'm even using it. Hey? No, actually, I did use it. So this is what I was talking about. This is the Ebine, Eben spray. So I added that on top of it to just try and hide the lace. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my elastic band as well. Now it's time to just um, decide where I want the parting. Just parting it in the middle. And um, I'm gonna start hot combing it just to get it as flat as possible. And then I'm gonna also straighten or curl it. I think I curled it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start curling it. So I finally put curls in the hair and it really really held up good the texture of the hair is nice I was pleasantly surprised not that I thought it was not good but like it holding the curls the way it did I was really really happy about it and I'm taking the elastic band off as you can see we have some glue doing concussa at the front but we if you don't know what concussa is it means gossip at the front but we quickly fixed that with some powder and my makeup um, foundation brush you can see the front is, is starting to make sense now after I had put the hold spray the bed head hold spray and my Eben spray together is it's, it's looking a little better right I know I know what I mean and now I'm just going in with my concealer to just cover the nuts of um, the pattern just a little bit and then I'm tweezing out the baby hair too. I still think my baby hair is a little too much for me. But like every time I think it's enough. And after I style it, it doesn't look enough. And I don't bother myself again. Like this one for instance, I thought it was a lot. But it's, mm, it's okay. We'll, we're going to have to work with it. <laughs> Which we did. It, it didn't look that bad. It didn't look too, too much in my opinion. But it came out nice. So I'm just cutting the hair, making it shorter at an angle. And then I'm going in to just curl it with my tiny, my tiny straightener. Yes. I was so happy I did this because it made it look better. And then I'm using my Eben spray again to just like define you know turn it into the direction that i wanted okay it didn't come up bad at all i don't think so it's looking like bridal bridal edges for me but but it's not bad it's not terrible i still like hey, hey i really did some styles no i normally don't do it this way but today i was feeling a little extra maybe in my head i was thinking of marriage and then I went in again with my powder to just try and hide it more because what we're trying to do is not show too much lace okay so I went in again now it gets a little bit more covered in my opinion I was deciding if I wanted to cut the front 
a little bit but i didn't and this is the final look guys tell me what you think i took my time and went through everything with you guys and you saw exactly well except the bolden cup method which i'm gonna do in another video but then i love this hair thank you you pretty for sending me this wig and everything is gonna be in the description below for you guys so you can check it out Thank you, love you, I'll see you guys in another video.